Assalamualaikum and good afternoon guys. It is sometimes difficult to know whether we are making a healthy choice when it comes to nutrition, particularly when it comes to the different food groups and relevant portion sizes. No food group should be avoided or excluded completely as this limit a variety of key nutrients that we receive and may lead to malnutrition. A healthy diet means we eat a variety of food from each of the different food groups and in the right amount. To better understand the food groups and how to incorporate them into our diet, we will use a model of eating well guide such as Eat Well Guide UK. The Eat Well Guide breaks the food and liquids we consume into five groups. One, fruits and vegetables. Two, potatoes, bread, rice, pasta, and other starchy carbohydrates. Three, beans, pulses, fish, eggs, meat, and other proteins. Four, dairy and alternatives. And five, oils and spread. The guide demonstrates the different types of foods and nutrients we should consume and in what amounts. We will now be discussing each one in turn. The carbohydrates and fruits and vegetable groups are the largest segments in the guide, meaning the majority of our food should be coming from these groups. Fruits and vegetables are good sources of vitamins, minerals, and fibers. And we should aim for five portions a day, whether in fresh, frozen, canned, dried, or juice. A portion is roughly 80 grams, equivalent to a fruit such as an apple, a pear, a banana, or an orange or 3 tablespoons of vegetables or a heaping tablespoon of dried fruits or a small glass of fruit juice. Carbohydrate should make up just over a third of our daily diet. They are important sources of nutrients, energy and fibers. They give us the energy we need and are rich in vitamins, minerals, and fibers. It is best to choose whole grain options as they are higher in fibers and are digested more slowly, preventing sugar spikes and keeping you fuller for longer. The third group in the Eat Well Guide includes proteins uh, like chickpeas, lentils, kidney beans, tofu, nuts, oily fishes such as salmon and fresh tuna, eggs, chicken, turkey, and red meat, though this should be eaten less frequently as it is high in saturated fat. Proteins are important for the growth and repair of our bodies, but only one-sixth of our daily diet should be made up of these foods. The fourth group includes dairy foods such as milk, cheese, etc. Cottage cheese and yogurt are high in calcium, vitamins and minerals. When choosing dairy products, make sure to stick to lower fat and sugar options. The fifth group, oils and spreads, is the smallest section of the Eat Well Guide but it is important as we do still need some fats in our daily diet to stay healthy. It is important to choose unsaturated fats as much as possible, such as fish, nuts, avocados, and vegetable oils. Eating too many saturated fats, such as cakes, chocolate buttercream, and other fast foods is bad for our hearts, so it is best to keep this at a minimum.
to sum up, knowing the facts about nutrition uh, makes it easier to maintain a balanced diet plan. Making poor dietary choices means we may not be getting the right nutrients in our diet, and this often leads to malnutrition and suboptimal health.